Rapper Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, is under criminal investigation in L.A. Police say he is the suspect in an alleged battery that occurred early this morning. What you're trying to do is get me in trouble. So I step off you, have to pay you like 250000 No, 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 no. Hello! AP is the ye of YouTube. He is losing his mind. That is my favorite comment from the Chris video because I love Kanye West. Nothing makes me more aggravated than when other humans don't treat other humans like humans. Who wants to have a camera shoved in their face and egged on like that? You could see the frustration in Kanye's eyes. And I know he shouldn't have reacted like that, but I could relate to him. I feel him. I feel Kanye there. Kanye will go down in history as one of the greatest artists our generation. I want to say when somebody's losing their mind, you're not Kanye West. Kanye is, is a so creative and sometimes that comes out in, in the wrong ways. Okay. One thing I've been trying to work on is emotional intelligence and it is one of the hardest things to work on. If you want to be a leader, if you want to thrive in any sort of situation, you need to understand your intelligence emotionally. And being able to control those emotions is what makes you different than the person next to you. And sure, he might have had a little slip up there. We've all had them. But I just want to say, Kanye, if you ever want to go fishing, I'll take you fishing. So yeah, that was my favorite comment from the Chris video. I unfortunately didn't include that in yesterday's video because it was more of a fishing video yesterday. It was a kind of a childish video, the title. I should have probably titled it something different. But then again, it was very harmless. And if you watch the whole video, a good fishing video. I was happy with it. It's way more exciting, though, to edit these vlogs and to make some sort of creation out of my day. So here goes my day. Today is March 16th, and we've got a lot to do. I have to do the dishes, load the washing machine, unbox and set up a new camera. I have to finish the electrical in the van so that it can run off my alternator. I got to redo a fuse so my fridge works. I've got to rig and organize all my ice rods. Yes, ice rods. I've got to load the van for a 15 hour trip tomorrow, and I'm going to go for a 6.69 mile run. But before I do all this, I'm going to take a shower and put some pants on. I bought this a week ago. It says sell by March 14th. We're going to eat some cantaloupe. You know, this is the first meal of the day. Daylight savings time has really thrown me off. It's 2.30 in the afternoon. I get in these these stunts where I don't clean anything for a week, and it just piles up, and it then gets in the back of my mind, and it's not good. I was doing some reading, some late-night Reddit reading, there was this theory on motivation and how motivation is, is actually terrible. Motivation is not what you want in life. You want self-discipline. Motivation is like it gets you going, but it's false hope. It's false hope in what you're supposed to be doing. You want to have the self-control to get the stuff done and stay focused. You don't want that hit of dopamine. In that theory of self-control, I'm going to eat this cantaloupe. I F's with the cantaloupe. I just violated that melon. Welcome to the van. It is still in its infancy stages. I've had this van for, I think, two years now, come October. So a year and not even two years. So a year and four months. Yeah, I've learned a lot, but I've also come to the conclusion that I'm not a skilled carpenter. And I'm starting to realize that quickly. That being said, I would much rather have a van over a pickup truck just for the sure aspect of having all this space whenever I'm traveling. I built a bed with my dad in the back of here that kind of folded off the wall. I ended up taking that off. Since I have no bed, I will just set up a cot sometimes and just sleep in here. I probably spent five or six days sleeping in this this winter when it was freezing out and it was pretty cold. But I want to go through the electrical system and kind of what I need to fix right now. I've built many of times. I've rebuilt this electrical system at least seven times. And just because I want to play around with it and figure out what the best way is to 
get the most out of my batteries. And the biggest issue I have right now is the only way to charge it is off of shore power. So I plug in right here, I have an 80 amp hour charger. This is a charger and inverter Victron. Uh, it's a 12 volt system that has 2000, 2000 it's, a, it's a 2000 watt inverter. It runs off 12 volts and it has an 80 amp hour charger. So my biggest thing is I wanna hook up off my car's alternator to charge this. And I've got a couple things that I'm gonna try and see if they work with it. Then I've got a fridge here. The fridge is awesome. And then that's really it. It's insulated with 3M insulation. It's made a huge difference to me to just have that. And then I have one and two max air fans. And those max air fans uh, help bring circulation in the van. I'm able to suck, turn one on, suck air out, and then turn the other one on and suck air out the other way. So like one can be flowing in, one can be flowing out, creating a, a circle of circulation. <music> I've also got this 80-20 mounted on the side. This is kind of what I've built some not permanent cabinets on, and it's got little things in there that you can, little T-nuts that you can go in off of and then just secure something off of. So as you can see right here, here's a little um, of angle bracket that I would be able to connect off of when I did have a cabinet in here. But it's pretty gutted. I've built it, taken it apart, built it, taken it apart, and I'm not really sure where this journey is gonna take me with the van. This is my only vehicle. This is something that has gotten me through the last year and a half of my life and I don't know if I didn't have this, how it would have been able to move all of my stuff around. It is a 2020 and it has 45,000 miles on it already. <sighs> Too much driving. So this is the original um, DC to DC charger that I was gonna use. Cause you don't wanna hook up directly from your battery, from your starter battery to your leisure batteries. You'd wanna put a, a DC to DC charger, especially since I'm going from lead acid battery to a lithium battery. I just think it's safer to do this. If you guys want to disagree with me, let me know in the comments. But I don't know what happened, but something, if you could tell right there, there was some sort of, some sort of overheating to where this melted around here. I don't know if this is still good. I'm not really pumped on this company. I've had some issues with some other stuff from them. So I kind of just put this away. That's how I started. I haven't been able to get my batteries to charge off the alternator. That's what I'm trying to fix today. So I then bought this. This is a 30 amp hour DC to DC charger. It's by Victron. Um, it has Bluetooth so I could see how much amps I'm actually drawing and that sort of thing. I hooked it up and it didn't work. I got no power draw. One thing about being super disorganized is you tend to not know where your stuff is. So I can't find my voltmeter, which any electrician is like, you really need a voltmeter to be doing this stuff. I don't got mine, so we're gonna have to wing it. The only thing I'm thinking is there's this little remote here, this little key that goes right here. I, I lost the key, or I don't know if the key even came with it. So I bought this thing. This is would be if I wanted to just directly wire it. This is gonna be the last case scenario, but I'm gonna take this key off of this Victron thing. Oh yeah, it fits in there. So that's kind of what I'm dealing with today. It would be awesome to be able to always have my fridge going as well as charge my camera batteries when I'm on the road. So it's just something that I wanna figure out. So what I have here is this is a positive lead coming off my battery with just an on off switch so that way I know that it's dead. Here's the negative lead coming out from underneath. So we have the negative, the positive going to a switch, and then this is my fuel pump hose that goes underneath the van for the diesel heater. The diesel heater is right there. This is the outtake. So that's kind of what I'm going to deal with. So now that we've got this and we've got the key, which I think I was missing, I'm going to hook all this up. And right there I have, it says that I have unlimited hours because I'm pulling no draw. I have 13.32 volts and obviously there's no draw. So if I were to, let's see how much draw that thing takes. See now all of a sudden I have, you know, I'm drawing half an amp hour, seven watts. 240 amp hours is see so I have 340 amp hours but it's saying I only have 240 it takes a couple cycles um, and I've also changed up some different things so that's kind of where that's at but we're gonna leave that max air fan on and see how much this goes down while I mess with hooking that thing up major hype we found my voltmeter so that's a good that's we're gonna know if this is working actually it's kind of interesting on this system where do you want to fuse the charger coming in? 
Does it come off your positive bus bar before it gets to your lines? Or do you fuse it going into your bus bar? I only have four slots for fuses. One's, for, one's going to my inverter, two are going to my positive leads and my battery, and then one's going to my DC fuse box. So I need to figure out where this charging line, because like if I go directly from charger to positive bus bar, it's not fused, which I don't even care if it's fused, because it would blow this thing. I'm gonna add a fuse to that. I'm gonna step off my positive bus bar with another fuse, fuse it off my positive bus bar, and then that way everything's fused. I like it. Okay, before I test my beautiful work here, as you can see, we have a red light on there. That is because this five amp fuse is blown. And the reason why it's blown is because I ran out of fuses and decided to put two devices on one fuse. So we've got my fridge, which is this. Watch this, that light's about to go off, yep. Yeah. There we go, there's the fridge kicking on. Okay, so now we have the fridge kicking on. I always think I'm figuring something out and then this electrical just gets me frustrated and I don't have time to be messing with this because I have to pack for this. I have to leave tomorrow morning for this trip. So I can't mess around with the electrical anymore then. I'm running super low on ingredients. We're down to just an avocado egg bread sandwich. Somebody asked me on Twitter, I was gonna answer the question of why I'm in Wisconsin. My dad's dream was to buy his kids, me and my two sisters, a lake house so that we could spend the summers. And I wanna say almost every weekend, me and my dad came up here and the reason why I love fishing is because of this place. The reason why I got into hunting at all is because of this place. This is such a special place to me. Me, Mav, and Sobe lived here for a little bit. This house has a lot of meaning to me. Obviously, my parents aren't here that much. They allow me to stay here. That's why I'm here in Wisconsin, really, is because this place has so many memories to me. I love it. I love the seasons. I love Wisconsin. It's one of my favorite places, I think, to live would be Wisconsin. Minnesota, too, has a similar vibe. But, yeah, the only thing I don't like about this place is how isolated I am from any major town. Okay, let's see if I can hook up to the Victron. Okay, we got the smart, smart battery. We're hooked up to that. The negative shunt, which is comes off your negative bus bar, which shows you how, which is how you're getting this reading. It's this. This is connected to a shunt, and that's how I'm getting the reading of exactly what my system is using to charge or how much energy is being taken away or how much energy is being provided to the system. Let's see if we could, let's see if we have any input. Let's see if I start it and if we get any input. What? See, this is what doesn't make sense because I have, my input is 14.8 volts coming off the truck and the output is 13.2 volts. Who's calling me? Hey Alex, this is Lupe with Tesla. I'm reaching out in regards. Ah! It's just, it's constant mayhem. It's constantly being the most disorganized human being of all time. I've completely given up on the electrical system. It says I have input, it says I have out. The only thing that's not making sense is I'm not gaining any percentages and I'm not gaining any watts or amp hours when it's supposedly on. And, and that's the problem I've always had. Somebody explained, do I have to go directly from that battery charger to a battery instead of my positive bus bar? I didn't get much done there. <laughs> Let's go for a run. We have shorts on. Can't complain. Probably not good to run your joints, but David Goggins told me, don't be a little He's 
straight mud. No time to talk, we gotta keep going. 125. Oh my goodness, clock that, boys. Woo, by far best time yet. All right, I don't wanna talk. I wanna do this. Wow, this thing is sick. It's currently 9.30 at night. I, I burned almost 800 calories on that run, and I haven't eaten much today, so I need to eat salad, mushrooms, gouda cheese, cucumbers, a little bit of ranch, a lot of bit of ranch. Man. Thank you. I don't know how I'm going to... I'm not going to leave tomorrow. <laughs> Andrew, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm going to end this video with the footage, or the only cell phone clip I have of my biggest wall I ever. And I've got to also do some measuring to see how big it actually was. <gasps> so big! So big! Going back. Going back. Oh my gosh, I just lost them. I have no freaking socks on. Ah! So I'm I'm showing some photos right now. Well, I played the fish clip already, obviously. But as you can see here, from that corner of the mat to that corner of the mat, I mean, if you take this off, but I mean, the fish kind of went... I don't know. I, I'm really... That was the last day I'll never carry a tape measure with me. Um, kind of goes with carrying a scale in the boat when it comes to bass fishing. I feel dumb because could have very well been my biggest wall I ever catch. But at the same time, I got the pictures. We got the mat. We got some sort of measurement. How big do you think that fish was? It was... There's only one thing that we know. I'll never know for sure how big it was. <laughs> That's what we know. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned with another episode of AP Bassing. This was fun. Um, did I accomplish everything? The electrical hookup on the van is still kind of mysterious because the Bluetooth shows that it's working, but I'm not getting the charging read. So not sure on that. We got the fuses taken care of. We did the dishes. We packed my bag. We loaded the van up. The only thing I still need to do is rig up some rods tomorrow, which... That being said, if this is the last video for a week, or hopefully not, I don't believe it's going to be, but I am headed somewhere huge for a big trip, um, and I'm filming a series. The thing about this series is I'm going to be posting it in a couple months from now because of the editing and the things involved in it. So I don't think you guys are going to want to miss out on that, and appreciate if you subscribe to the channel because I tend to lose subscribers now for what I post. And let me know below if... I am as mad as Kanye or if Kanye is as mad as me. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time.